hey hi friends uh, welcome to today's video so today uh, we are going to discuss further on the list so like in my previous video i have shown you how i can create a list and uh, display a dynamic element in the list so i'll just give a brief like what uh, this project contains so we have a comment view and then and we have a navigation view inside it and inside that we have taken a v stack and then a list and then for list we are calling a api fetch comments and down the line i'm using uh, mvvm design pattern to uh, fetch the data from uh, server and i also have used elmo fire as third party to write my uh, network layer so if you want to see more in details you can watch my uh, previous video on the list i will share the link in the description uh, in the comment box so in this particular uh, video we are going to discuss like how i can give two features to this list like one is like how i can search a particular item in the list and second i will implement like a pull to down like if i you know just pull it down how i can refresh my list like you you might have seen this in multiple apps so like if i need to include a search like the people who are coming from uh, ios background like ui kit background so like we have we have search bar and search controller option in the ui kit now in the swift ui apple have done this a very simple way so if i show you the link uh, i'll also share this link in the description box so they have introduced from ios 15 but this feature is specifically uh, available from ios 15 onward searchable and using this i can just bring my search box in just one line of code okay so let's see how we can do it so on my list i will just going to write dot searchable okay now if you see it takes a parameter of binding type like when you are going to search so that search value is going to store somewhere okay so for this what i'm going to take i'm going to, to take a state property in my view so state private where i'll call it search text of type string i'll just initialize it empty okay and this i will bind it here okay so now that's the one line of code which will bring the search bar on my view so now let me run it and see if i can see my search bar in my list so let it run Mm, and you can see that I can see my search bar so by default if you see here this search bar is like only when you, you know, are on the top then only this search bar is visible if you scroll up then search bar is not going to visible so how you now we can do this changes that also we are just going to see but yet you can see that how simple it is to bring a search bar into a list in Swift UI now let's see how i can change the position of the search bar or how i can make sure that even if i am scrolling up and down i'm always seeing this search thing okay so what i'm going to do here we have one more parameter which is called placement okay now if you see here we have here dot, dot navigation bar drawer okay now we have navigation bar drawer and we have display mode so if i just take this let's see if it changes anything if i run it again and uh, i don't see any difference okay so i'll just take the another one where we have a parameter called display mode and here by default it is automatic i'll change it to always okay now if i run it now you will see this search bar always like even if you are scrolling up and down so see by default it is there even if i'm scrolling up the search bar goes into the navigation bar so this is like what i wanted like i can just type something right now nothing is going to happen but it is binded with my search text that means my search text is changing okay now the next like it's, it's meaningless that i have just search bar and i'm not doing anything okay so let's do something like if i searching let's say that here i am displaying name in email id so let's try to filter this list on the basis of name okay so that's also very simple in swift ui so here what i'm going to do here we have a something called on change property okay so on change of what on change of this search text like the variable what we are taking here so whenever the search takes change we have to perform action okay so here i'm not doing anything 
right now i'm just printing this whether that we are getting this value or not okay now let's run it once more and see if i getting any value when i'm typing it okay so let's type hello and you can see the moment i'm typing it is printing here that text okay and even if i delete it it is printing me again okay now that means whenever the user is typing something i'm getting that search text so now my next will be that i filter my search item or i filter my comments on basis of that okay so let's go to our view model and here write a function okay so here i have what i have i have a list of comments and this api fetches the comments so what i'm going to do i'm going to take one more uh, list which is basically my search item result search result comments and for the first time i'll populate both this one also and this one also now whenever the user types something i'll call a function let's say did click search or did get search item search text and so whatever the user is typing will get it in a form of a string so it will have a parameter of type a string type and what we have to do we have to filter it on the basis of the text what user has written okay so here i can just simply write that if my text is empty in that case the search result comments will be equal to the default comments like the original comment list what we are getting in the else case what we have to do we have to filter it out okay so search result comments equals to comments dot filter and here i'm going to write dollar zero dot sort of filter on the basis of name dot contents and what it contains text okay okay so now whenever the user search i have to call this function that means from here i have to call view model dot did get search and i have to pass the new value okay now let's run this application again and see if we are getting any changes so i'm just searching with uh, alias let's say that if i get anything but nothing is going here that means something is wrong okay so here after this i am actually taking a search result comments this array but my view is still binded with the comment so i have to bind this also with search result comments now what I, why i'm not taking comments because for the first time also this will have the default comment list okay so this i'm considering as my source of truth okay and uh, this is like based on my result search result based on my search result else default data okay now let's run it again so this time when i run it and i try to search ali i don't still get any item okay one reason can be like see the by default if you see the first character is a and uh, the code which i have written is it is actually searching for contents whether that particular text contains into it obviously it, it doesn't contain a as a capital okay so what i'm going to do i'm just going to search with lower case okay so whatever the user type i'm just converting it to lower case now i run it again and this time if i search and this filtering see you can just see the results with alias okay and if i further remove it it is showing me the default list okay if i search something random it is not showing me any item so this is how simple and easy is to create a search and do a search in the swift ui okay next thing what we are going to uh, see is how i can implement a pull to refresh and again that is very simple uh 
if I show you the documentation, we are going to use this refreshable here. Okay, so make this view as refreshable. So what I'm going to do again on the list, I'm going to use dot refreshable. Okay, and here what I'm to do, let's say just I'm just calling print refreshed. Okay, so if I run it again. And see if I pull down this function is getting called. So ideally, what I should do in this case, I should call my fetch comment again. That means I'm fetching a new uh, list of data. But right now, as the comments are going to remain same because uh, we are getting a same list every time, so you will not see any actual difference. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to write a print statement here that fetched new comment so that at least we can see that it is calling this api every time okay and getting the new data so let's delete the logs and do a pull to refresh see first it called refreshed here then fetch comment gets called and it is calling the actual api and in the success it is calling fetch new comments so every time you do Pull to refresh it is going to call this function again so that's how simple it is to create a list uh, to create a search in the list and to give a functionality of like pull to do, pull to refresh okay so that's all for uh, today's video so thanks for watching and if you ri really like this video please do like comment share subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you